Hi everybody, my name is Melanie and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what women love about being 60. I turned 62 months ago and I found this article. The article was 60 things women love about being 60. But I read through them and I have condensed for you 30 things that women love about being 60. And yes, I have a visual. These are in no particular order. So, number 30 says, being able to reduce my possessions. Now, I have already started doing that. I read that once you're over 50, you should start reducing your possessions because I guess you're on the second leg of life and you don't want to leave all your junk for your kids to go through. I find it's very freeing to clean out my closets, get rid of clothes I can't wear, um, even dishes and things like that that I don't use anymore. Let go of some of that stuff. Um, one of the best feelings to me that is so freeing is to be able to open a closet or a drawer and it's not just jam-packed full. It is organized and by getting rid of the things that you don't use, it can be very freeing and make 60 feel great. Number 29 on the list is I can play all day and do household chores some other time. Ooh, that's my favorite part. I really don't like cleaning house. I know there are women out there that do, and men too, that like to clean house. I am not one of those people. So now that I am retired and I can clean house anytime I want to, all day or none of the day. And that's how I choose to roll around here. If I feel like cleaning, I do. If not, I'll do it another day. Number 28 on the list is being able to do whatever I want, even if it's pajamas all day. Alrighty then. I truly don't hang out in my pajamas all day. I have, you know, we all have from time to time. That's not a regular for me. But what a great feeling to know that I can do whatever the heck I want to, whenever the heck I want to. I love it. Okay, moving on to number 27 on the list. The freedom of being me. Now, what does that mean? It means that I am 60. I am in tune with myself. I can do whatever I want to, whatever makes me happy. However I am is good for me. Who cares what anybody else thinks? That's a great part about being 60. Number 26 on the list is sitting in the sun and not at a job. I really like that. I like going to sit outside, sit with the dogs. Unfortunately, right now, Tex will maul me if I walk outside. He loves to, to you know, get some loving. But... Imagine sitting in your job, and I know some of you are still working. God bless your heart. But those of us that are retired, we can be inside, we can be doing our thing, and just think, oh, I just want to go sit out in the sun for a little bit. And I can. I don't have to wait until I get off work to go sit out in the sun. I can go out anytime I want to and do whatever I want to. All right, so... Number 25 on the list, watching the sunset and taking the time. This is something that George and I actually do pretty much every day. We watch the sunset almost every day. We have a great view of the sun setting in the west, and it's just nice to know that you can just chill, watch the sunset, not be panicked about what am I going to wear to work tomorrow? What do I have to do tomorrow? Just taking each moment one by one. Number 24 on the list. I have given myself the power to make choices. Um, remember, I didn't write this stuff. I just found the article. I, I like that, that at a certain age, you just know who you are. 
You can make your own choices. You don't have to worry about what other people think. Okay. Moving on to number 23 on this list of 30. I can start letting things go a bit. Now, that can be like I talked about a few minutes ago about your possessions. You can start letting go of possessions. Or you just let go of things inside you. At a certain age, and I'm thinking at 60, I can let things go. I don't have to harbor stuff inside of me for a long time. Just let it go and be free. Number 22, I have become wise but still youthful. And you see those question marks, youthful? I don't know. We all become wise after 60 years. We all may be wise in different things, but look at the things we have learned in 60 years of our life. That's awesome. Number 21, I am more confident and have learned to say no. When I was younger, I'm talking in my 20s maybe, I was married, remember, at 19. If people ask me to join a group, help out with something, um, I don't know, numerous things, I would just always say yes because I felt like I had to. But one day I said no to something and I realized this is very freeing. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. So actually this, um, where are we at? Learn to say no. I learned that a long time ago, actually. It was very freeing. And if you have not learned to tell people no, you need to learn that word. Number 20 on the list. Courage to speak my mind. Now, never really had much of a problem with that one. I've pretty much said it like it is. But I guess some people when they're 60 are just now working up the confidence to do that. Number 19. I don't sweat the small stuff as much. We all sweat the small stuff some, but the older you get, the older you realize it's easier to let it go and move on. Number 18, and there's a little star by number 18 for me. I can sleep whenever I want for as long as I want. Now, Something that you don't know about me yet is that I do suffer from insomnia. I do not sleep well. I did not sleep well last night. And I don't have to go to work today so that if I feel like I can't make it, I can go lay on the couch and take a nap. I can go lay in my bed and take a nap. I could have gone and laid out in the hammock outside and taken a nap, but Tex ate that up. All right, number 17. I like who I am, I know who I am, and what I want out of life. Well, there's still things about myself that I don't like. I'm sure that we will all be that way. We'll never be perfectly satisfied with our own self. But I have learned that, um, <coughs> excuse me. What I want out of life is pretty simple at this point. I just want to be with my husband. I want to be with my family and just enjoy the rest of my life. That's really all I want. Number 16 on the list. Meeting kindred spirited people. And I have a star by that one and I put YouTube. Since we started our channel, I realized that Probably the biggest majority of you that follow our channel are around our age. Um, and I know we're kindred spirits because we have the age that we are in common with. We are like-minded folks because you wouldn't be watching our YouTube channel if you didn't find something interesting to you. So uh, it's nice knowing that once you reach 60, you're just in a unique group of kindred spirited people.
I was back at school, I would have a larger easel to put this on, but I don't. Number 17 on the list. I am more confident and have... Oh, I've already read that one, right? I'm more confident. And have learned to say no. Oh, I repeated one, people. Sorry. 17 was a repeat. Number 16. Having the courage to speak my mind. Already did that one, too. Okay, that was a repeat, folks. Um, number 15, I am free of responsibility and commitment. I don't think any of us are ever truly free of responsibility and commitment, but I am free from work. I don't have the commitment that I have to go to work every day. My only commitment right now is to my husband in our home doing what makes us happy, and that is a good feeling. Number 14 is the freedom of being me. If I've repeated some of these people, I am sorry. I'm not sure what me is, but dang it, I'm free to be me, whatever it is. Number 13 on the list. Don't take things too dramatically. Well, drama's always been a big part of my life. I always take things dramatically. Um, I have to pray about that, and I'm thinking as I get older that will also cease, but um, you just have to learn to take the punches and go with the flow. Number 12. Make my own decisions and take responsibilities for my own actions. I mean, if you haven't learned to take responsibilities for your own actions by the time you're 60, I don't know if you're ever gonna. So, buck up and take responsibility. Number 11, laughing at my own imperfections. What? Me? Imperfections? Ha! Huh. Especially after seeing your imperfections on YouTube. People, I'm telling you what a humbling experience it is to watch yourself on the big screen TV knowing that people all over the U.S. and other countries, hello David O'Keefe over in Ireland, um, are watching my imperfections. And that is a big pill to swallow, but it's easier when you're 60. All right, so this brings us to the top 10. Now, I know I repeated some of those, so there weren't actually 30, but I'm over 60. What can you expect? The top 10 are sort of in order, okay? Sort of. So, at number 10, we have feeling my life has a purpose. Now, I know a lot of people know uh, what their purpose in life is before they're 60. But I think when you reach 60, you suddenly realize what you were put on this earth for. What is your purpose? And all of our purpose is different, but you do realize your purpose when you're at least 60 years old. Number nine on the list, being bolder than ever before. Oh, I notice this in a lot of people. The older they get, the bolder they become. I think it's because you're not afraid of hurting people's feelings anymore. Um... You've just earned the right to speak your mind. It's just the way it is. And I think the older we get, the more right we've earned to speak our mind. Number eight on the list, being healthy. Um, I know we all have some issues. We all have some kind of medical problems. But in the long run, if we are getting up and kicking around day to day, we're glad for that. My health issue, my biggest health issue, are, is my eyesight. Um, I have learned to deal with it, and one day I'm going to go into more in depth about my eyesight. It's just a very difficult thing to explain. It's not difficult for me to talk about. It's just so many issues. But um, other than that, George has some issues too. You know, like I said, we all do. We're over 60. But for the most part, we are healthy, and thank you, Jesus, for that. Number seven on my list of being 60 and loving it, 
Knowing that money isn't everything. I think I learned that a long time ago. Um, happiness, peace of heart is the most important thing. Money is not the most important thing in life. Um, number six on the list is retirement. I really wanted to put retirement closer to the number one thing I like most about being 60, but there were some other more important things. But retirement, people, I am telling you, woo -woo, it is awesome. You stay at home, do what you want to, and still get your paycheck in the mail. Number five on what women love about being 60 years old, getting up at midnight for a peanut butter sandwich. Now, again, I did not make this list. I found the list, and uh, it's hilarious to me because just a few nights ago, I went to bed before George, and I went to sleep. But then I woke up, and he wasn't in bed yet, and I got up and ate a half a peanut butter sandwich at whatever, 11 p.m. So, getting up at midnight for a peanut butter sandwich is okay with me. Number four on the list, and this really I wanted to be my number one, but again, there were much more important things. Never having to dye my hair again. Okay. So, that might be just a topic in itself one day about going gray. Um, I knew I was going to retire, and I cut my hair. Well, actually, I waited until I retired. I cut my hair super, super short, as short as I could go. Actually, left the hair salon crying one day because it was so short to get all of the color off my hair. I've been dyeing my hair since I was 35 years old, and I dyed it until I was 57. That's when I retired. And uh, it was a pain. I had to, it was, at the end, I was dyeing my hair every three weeks. I would dye my hair, and all those gray roots here at the edge were still there. I hated it when it was going from brown to gray, but now that it is gray, I don't care. It is freeing to me. I don't have to worry about coloring again ever, and I'm thrilled about that. Um, <clears throat> number three, my life with my hubby. You see, there are some more important things than retirement and not having to color my hair. I love being home with George all day. Um, we just happen to have one of those relationships that work. We get along and we like being at home together and that is very important to me at being 60. Okay. Uh, number two on the list is being in love after 41 years of marriage. Being in love after 41 years of marriage. Did we have a perfect marriage? No, does anybody? But I will tell you this, I love George more today than I ever have in my life, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with him. All right, so moving on now to number one. The number one reason that women love being 60 is I'm not 70 yet. <laughs> and for all my sisters and bros out there that are 70, good for you and you're not 80 yet. And for all of you that are 80, good for you, you're not 90 yet. And we're all still around, we're still kicking around, and we're still loving life. So my advice to you today is if you are 60 or older, embrace it. Love yourself, love your life, and have a great day. Uh, that's all my little presentation on being 60. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, if it's the first time that you're viewing this channel, my husband and I have it together. The channel is under my name right now. Wednesday night, tomorrow night, we are going live at 7 p.m. and we are going to reveal a new name for our channel that will include us both, not just me, because it is our channel. So, if you like what you see, we'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Um, I don't mean this to sound 
strange if you already know how this goes, but I didn't. When my kids told me that you needed to subscribe to a YouTube channel, I thought, I don't want to pay to subscribe. You don't pay like you pay for a magazine subscription or a newspaper subscription. It's free. You're subscribing to the channel. And if a channel is monetized and make money off of YouTube um, and you subscribe, then that helps them make their money. And if you like the channel, give us a thumbs up and click the notification bell. It will tell you when we have a new video out or when we're going live. And remember, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. we're going live. So, this is Melanie, 60 years old, loving life. See you tomorrow.